So your reverse lights don't work. Well, let's figure out why the reverse lights may not work on your Beetle. So, how does the reverse light system work on a bug? Well, first things first, you've got a switch on the gearbox, which you'll see if you go to the back of the gearbox, right up at the back of the cone, uh, right there. Now that one, I'll show you one that's off the car. Wiring will usually come up somewhere on the passenger side of the transmission in the back. And then, for instance, on this car, there was none, there was no wire actually connected to power. So, how does the reverse light system work? Well, on some of these cars, or most of these cars, the reverse light will get triggered. On these cars, they're actually using a positive on the switch, which usually they'll put a ground so you don't short it out. These cars have a positive, in which case you're actually going to need a fuse in line uh, near the switch. So if it shorts out, you don't have any issues. So here's a switch, a reverse switch, and it screws into the back of the, of the cone on the transmission. And then when you mechanically put the car into reverse with the lever, with the shifter, there's a piece inside that then pushes this contact in and then the two poles in the back make a contact so then you're letting power go from one side to the other so it gets power on one end doesn't matter which end and it'll get power technically it should be getting power from the coil which the coil will be getting power from the fuse box from the front going to the back to the coil which is only ignition on so your reverse lights don't work when the ignition's off so they're jumping power off the positive of the coil with a fuse added in line to that switch and then from that switch I'll go back and show you on the car from that switch you're gonna get it running to your tail lights so on this car for example it's not really at the stock location but there is let's see let's get some light on there there's that connector with all this wire right there and that connector here hard to see is a one wire coming from the switch branching off into two wires going to the left and right tail lamp for the reverse light so if your reverse light is not working the first thing you want to do, you're going to want to check the fuse and sometimes they actually have an inline fuse back here on a stock setup. Look for a, a kind of inline fuse connector, a black plastic fuse connector. If not, you want to go put it in reverse with the car off and then you can check continuity between the two poles of that switch. Now if the switch is working and it's letting the juice through then the switch will be basically letting current from one pole to the other and if you have a continuity tester then it'll buzz or you'll, you'll see the display on your multimeter and then you're going to have confirmation that, that switch is working if you put in reverse and you don't have continuity through that switch most likely the switch is no good so you start there if the switch has continuity then you move on to the next thing which you would want to check to see if there's a fuse blown so in that case, what you could do is you could turn the ignition on, check and see if you found that fuse, check for voltage, or just check the fuse. If you can find the fuse, then you'd put it in reverse, turn the ignition on, and go check out the switch to see if you have any current coming out of the switch on any of the poles. I put in reverse just to see if anything happens. You don't need to put in reverse when you're doing that test. So let's say that you don't have any current. Well now you know either there's a breakage in the wire or that inline fuse if you have one is no good or the connection on the coil positive may be broken or like in this case there's no wire going to feed the tail lights for the reverse light. So sometimes with cars like this where people have had their hands in it, multiple people, some 
who know what they're doing more than others. Uh, you don't know what the situation was before you got to the car, so you can't necessarily blame whoever's been there before you, but you can do a better job at it if you just follow some basic principles and do the repair properly so that in the future it doesn't cause you any issues down the road. So we're gonna finish fixing this up, but that's a little bit of the diagnostics that I did to try and find the reason why the reverse lights don't work on this. And again, it's a very basic circuit. So you have power from the coil going to that switch, the other side of that switch going to that Y connector, sending current to the two reverse lights. And then this guy is getting, your coil is getting current from the front and giving current to that in line fuse. And there we go, the uh, reverse lights are working. So hopefully this troubleshooting helps you guys out if you've got an issue with reverse lights on your car. Most of the Beetles work pretty much the same when they have reverse lights. Certain years do not. So good luck. Uh, always remember, start with the easy stuff. Check your voltage at the bulb, check the bulb, check the bulb housing. If the housing looks like it's sketchy, you want to also check for voltage on the contacts of the housing. And, uh, and then move on to wiring and, and the uh, pressure or the, um, the trigger switch and transmission. So good luck with your uh, reverse light situation. And please, if you can, subscribe, give us a like, hit the bell for a reminder, and we'll see you on the next one. This was a Wolfhouse Motorworks presentation. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell.